Good evening. Hello. Let's see if anyone gets on here. I'm so excited. I have a brand new chalkboard, a new size that I didn't have before. Um, hi, Stephanie. This is our fabulous Claire. Claire is one of our really beautiful framed boards and she's I call it she because it's Claire a very nice thick um, beautiful sturdy frame and let's see hi Amy and I am going to be using a fabulous transfer this vintage truck transfer is right now one of my favorites and absolute the absolute um hottest item right now for chalk couture and i i can't get enough of it hi julie um hi michelle so the cool thing about the truck transfer is that it is very uh seasonal like um, tonight I'm going to be doing a tree farm with a tree, but, and you may have seen before I did a pumpkin patch in the truck. Well, they also have spring and summer things that you could put up. So they have the, um, the Harbor Shipping Company and they have the watermelon. So watermelon's very summery. So you can have that. Hi, Julie. Hi, Mike. Hi, Amy. So you guys can have, um, you can like buy your board and change it like four times a year and just take it down, wash it off, reuse it. And these transfers can be used over and over. Oh, hi, Jen. Thank you. Um, hello, Matthew. So, so that's um, what I wanted to tell you about this. If you love this transfer, you need to get it because we're getting probably one of our last batches of shipments. I have, um, I have these, so you're going to want to order them through me, not on the website. And... Um, like I said, I'm going to do the winter scene on this big board. And and actually, this board is not one of our biggest ones. Hi, Diane. Hi, Denise. This is actually one of our... Um, it is a 12 by 18. So we have the 9 by 12, which is our smallest framed board. And then we have... This is the 12 by 18, and then the 18 by 24, which is super huge, and I love it. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Laura. Hi, Tika. Hi. I think I said hi to everybody. Hi, Deb. So, definitely winter. Um, we're going to do winter here, and I thought that we might as well um, use some of the really great... I'm just going to kind of like set, figure this out because I'm going to use my whole board here and I want to make sure it will fit. Oh yeah, it will fit for sure. Um, otherwise, I might do something slightly because the tree, this is a it's a really huge transfer. Like I said, we've got the four seasons. There are different things that go with each. And I may leave the tree farm off and just put evergreen. And kind of use um, wintry colors. Hi, Monica. Like Christmassy, wintry colors. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. I have been so crazy busy. Just everything school business has been um rocking and so 
I, oh, and I wanted to show you, before I do that, I want to talk about seasoning your chalkboards. So to season your chalkboards, you're going to like go old school. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Sharon. You're going to go old school and you're going to take a piece of chalk and literally just chalk this board. Okay. This is called seasoning it. And I'll tell you why you want to do it. Uh, when this, um, when the board, which is made from, it's a, a porcelain steel, porcelain steel board. And when you chalk on it, often, like if you're drawing letters, there's a shadow that will remain. Hi, Renee. Hi, Teresa. So, and to avoid that shadow, just to like, um, get, make it a little, uh, I guess less shadowy, we're going to season it with actual chalk. And if anyone who knows me, number one, I'm a teacher. And so, and I actually, I know we have whiteboards now. Hi, Mary. We have whiteboards. However, I started with actual chalkboards. I was a teacher and I actually had to have chalk and I had to have a chalk holder because I hate the feeling of chalk in my hands, but, uh, you know, I'm just going to get over it for this purpose because I don't have to actually have it for any prolonged amount of time. So I just wiped it kind of in and now I'm just going to clean it. Um, and then I'll dry it. That's just what I do. And it works really well. It worked well um, on my other boards that I did. And now I'm going to take a clean cloth and just kind of wipe that. And then I'll take my dryer. So, make sure just kind of gets worn in when you do that so the first time you do it and now it should be good to go there and now I can put my transfers down with no problem at all so this hi Christy this you know what I do it with all chalkboards if I know I'm going to want to wash it off and reuse it, okay? Because um, there's this like shadowing thing that it does and they just, they just, they actually recommend uh, uh, seasoning it. So I just wiped it. So first I wiped it off with a cloth um, and then I used the Clorox wipe. You certainly can use water when you have the chalk on here and you want to wash it off, you're going to spray water and let it sit. And then you're going to um, wash it off either with a paper towel or a Clorox wipe and just keep washing it till it's gone. Um, I think so, Diane, if you're, if you're going to make a chalkboard and you want it to be permanent forever, you don't have to season it. You're just going to decorate it and leave it. Hi, Jackie. But if you're doing a chalkboard and you want to be able to, like our products say, design, love, and repeat, and you want to wash it off and do another thing in, like, in a couple months, I would definitely season it. And it, it's just super easy. And it won't hurt it ever. You're not going to hurt the chalkboard by putting chalk on it. Um, so that's all you do. You just cover it with chalk and then erase it all. And, uh, and that's that. And now on to our little tonight's program, which is going to be the tree farm. And okay, so we're gonna start with, actually I wanna start at the top, not with this guy. Um, I'm gonna start at the top and we're gonna do the evergreen established 1942. That was the year that my dad was born. Am I supposed to say that on, um, Facebook. I guess it's okay. There's no hiding that. And this is, I haven't used this before, so I'm going to, uh, because it's a pretty big one, I'm going to fuzz it. Um, and I know you've heard me say that before. 
You're, I'm going to peel this. Um, first, I'm going to write on the back um, what it is. Or sometimes I just write the word back on there. So I, I match this up because you're going to put the transfer back on here when you're done. And the best way to peel is to put your transfer down and peel the backing off. And I don't have a curled up transfer now. It's, it's great. Okay, so it's super sticky. I'm going to take a, this is just one of my towels that I use down here. Open it up. See, it's got chalk on it. It's totally fine. Just going to lay this on it and get it fuzzy so it doesn't stick so badly that um, I can't peel it up. Or if I do peel it up, oh, I want to kind of make sure that I'm in the center of my board. And I know this is, oh boy, my things get messy around here. When I chalk, you know, I just want to make sure it's exactly like 18. So I'm going to go about nine inches, like about right there, about right in the middle of that mark. I'm just going to eyeball it. One, two, three, four, one. So the G needs to be pretty centered. Okay. There we go. So, how's everybody's week? I feel like I have not been online hardly at all. I mean, not for this anyway. I've been around, but working a lot. Busy school week, for sure. Okay, so evergreen and that. So the colors that I brought out tonight are some that are in our special. We have evergreen, brick, mocha. Hi, Melissa. Mocha. Yeah. Whew, you've been busy. Hi, Betsy. Hi, Chelsea. So I brought out some mocha, which is a little bit lighter shade of brown, and the evergreen and brick and some custard. Actually, now I'm second guessing it because of my white frame. I think maybe I'll do just, just regular white, which um, I happen to have right here. So, yeah, and these are some of our colors that are in our um, customer special this month. So that's cool. We're going to do evergreen, probably in evergreen. I think that makes a lot of sense. And then this will probably be mocha. And my truck is going to be white and brown. Oh, I need red. Maybe we'll do some red on the tree farm. This is super fun, Melissa. Hi, Lisa. Okay. So I'm going to get this out and ready. My... This board is so big on my workspace that I um, am, like, running out of room for all my stuff. But have no fear. I've got lots of ways to do this. So I have been having, last night we had some ladies over for chalking, and they had a great time, and they made some really great things. I'm going to add a little spray of water to this color. And the, I'm, what I'm getting at is the more I use, we use our chalk, sometimes when you're doing a project, the chalk stays open, it gets a little dry, so then you add a little water the next time you stir it up. Hi, Julie. Oh, my goodness. Who is so excited that tomorrow's Friday? I am ridiculously excited. Um, It hit me at about... 2.20 today when I was letting my kiddos out to recess, I was ecstatic because it hit me that tomorrow is Friday and I love Friday. It's my favorite day of the week. I'm going to just kind of apply this. Oh, that went on super smooth. Yeah. Adding the water was great. I was going to 
just kind of like drop it on and then use my big squeegee, but this worked actually perfectly. Just need to get all my little edges here. Don't want to run into the, the axe, the axe, axes, the axes. Yeah, ask me a question. Friday Eve, you know it. Hello, Anita. Hi, Holly. So, all right, there we go. Laurel, did you get your email yet? I'm teasing her. We're waiting a very important email, and it hasn't come yet. It'll probably come later tonight. Should I do mocha here, or should I do the red, the brick color? The X, X, X. Yeah, it's hard to say. Hi, Leslie. Mocha or maybe the axe, X, the axis um, should be the mocha, but maybe the established 1942 will be red. And I cannot take too much time because I need to peel this up before it dries. And I just glanced over. This is where I need an assistant. Sheesh. I just glanced over and realized I forgot to pour my water for um, cleaning this. No biggie. I will. I've got the water sitting right here. Guess what I'm getting this weekend it, or in, at least we're buying this weekend. Some of you will be like, no big deal. What's the big whoop? But I'm super excited because those of you who know me know that my crafting space is in the basement and I have a great space. It's super big, lots of room to move about. However, I have no bathroom. I have no sink. I have nothing. And we are installing not a bathroom all the way, but... Mocha for the axe. Okay, wait, I got to go back. Other way around. Red, because you said you might not do tree room. Okay, brown handle and red towel. Oh, uh, too late for that. Shoot. Okay, I'm going to do the, the words in red, established in 1942. And I'm going to kind of see what happens when I'm working and I forget to look at uh, you guys. Because as Laura learned yesterday, this is harder than it looks. Like you think, what's the big deal? You're just crafting in front of a camera. However, when you're by yourself, you can't see everybody all the time. Especially if you're trying, you want your project to actually come out looking fairly decent. So you've got to concentrate a little. And then all the comments move. And if the comments move, then you, you miss it. You can't see it. So, okay. I'm going to go ahead and start lifting and I'm going to hope, you know, if I feel like, like right here, that this is a little too dry, I'm going to spritz it with water. Um, because I did that green at the very end. Okay. Hopefully that did the trick. Hopefully. This is my favorite part, the peel and reveal. Although, although it's also my least favorite part. And I will tell you why. It's my favorite part when it looks awesome. It is my least favorite part when it looks or you can see my errors or my mistakes or what went wrong. It's totally nerve wracking. I get like a little mini heart attack every time I do it. But usually I'm happy with the outcome. And so it all makes it worth it, you know. I'm just putting my transfer in some water and I'm getting off the excess chalk here. I'm just gonna leave that for the time being. And I'm going to dry up the spray, the water that I sprayed. Hi, Donna. 
Okay, so so far we've got evergreen axes and the little date. I'm definitely doing tree farm last because, like I said, I'm not sure about the room that I have, which is totally fine. Do me a favor. Um, click the, the share button on your phone or your computer screen and tell everybody how much fun it is to do this or to watch or, you know, do that for me. That would be super awesome. Now I kind of need to see... Okay, I think I got to check this out. Uh, lining it up, and I just need to see how big these wheels are. Okay, so there is a lot of room to play here. So I'm going to move this down slightly. Right there looks about good. Hi, Lynn. Got these. Some new people. Got a little uh, something under there, which made a bump, which bugged me. All right, now this piece, probably you wouldn't think, but it's the most important piece to get right because of all the screen that's in there. The more screen on your transfer, the easier it is to get bubbles, okay? Now, bubbles are not your friend unless you are Lilo and Stitch. Mr. Bubbles, do you remember him? Okay, that's funny. That does I mean that's a bad joke? It's not funny. Um, and I say um a lot, and so. I say um and so, and I'm trying to figure out what can I do to never say those like pause words you know what i'm saying see i feel like there's okay all right go to the right just a go to the right just a hair okay i see what you're seeing but i saw it through the camera i didn't see it in my like own eyes so now i'm going to look in the camera Does that look better? Oh, clearly I can take my ruler and measure halfway is about right there. Yep. And that's about five and three quarter. And that's about less. So I still need to go to the right. Oh my goodness if I measure see and that is over too far don't you think okay better Let's see. I think it's better. Well, I don't want it to. Does it look better than it did before? Center the body with the cross of the axe. Yes, yeah, Scott, yes. Okay, seriously, sometimes I've, when I've had a rough week, so at five and a half, I got it. I am ha I got it. It's halfway. Not bad. I could just go grab my laser square and not have this problem. But I was using it on a different project. Okay, I've got some bubbles in my screen, which remember I said we can't do that. All right, here goes the old truck. Vintage. I'm sorry, it's not an old truck. Thank you, Scott. Looks much 
much better. All right, so the body of the truck is going to be brown, kind of like the old like wood paneled, you know what I'm talking about? And I'm going to put it on here, but I'm gonna use my uh, bigger angled squeegee to squeegee it and spread it. Oh, I was, um, should I do, should I do white wall tires? What do you think? Would that be cool or not? Before I spread out the brown on that. I'll just spread it on the body of the truck. And then I'll wait for your decisions. I think I probably should. Who's, who's left? Who's still here? Who did I not? If you put this on wood, you can see it. Yes, if you put it on wood, you can seal it with a spray sealer. Um, the reason why you don't want to brush on a sealer is because the chalk reacts to water or, you know, any kind of moisture. And so I do have this on wood. I have um, some wood signs that we've done in the past. This is just, okay. So are we doing white walls? Yes. Awesome. I was hoping you would say that. So got my brand new white. Oh my goodness. So obviously in my kit, it came with white and I've been using that white for, uh, since, you know, July when I ordered it and everybody uses it. Like I use it at all my parties. Um, I have a few of them now, but I just finished it up the other day and this brand new white, see, they reformulated the chalk um, formula and oh my gosh, it's so like smooth and creamy. I am in love with the new chalk. All right, here's our peel and a reveal. That's just the body now. Woohoo! All right, now I'm gonna put this in my water and rub off the, the chalk. Get it soaking for a minute. just until I uh, am done with the project, then I'll get it right out of that water. Now we're going to dry this a bit because, hi Kim, because I need to put my the rest of my truck over this and uh, it has to be dry in order for the transfer to set on there. make sense to everybody. And because this is an old truck and everything's vintage, it's okay, like a lot of the chalk things that we do are purposefully like chalk-ified. Some people who absolutely adore um, perfect lines and they just need everything straight and beautiful and solid, you may not like all the chalk letters, while the, my evergreen, those are very, very solid and very chalky, chalked up. But um, some of them have that, like, um, you know, like that chalk font look. Like right here, the word chalk, how it's like, it's like not solid. So a lot of our stuff is like that. So even if this uh, were to get a little um, worn, it would still look super cool. Okay, now, this is my truck. We're going to put him, kind of not dry yet, so I'm just going to keep, I mean, I can feel that it just needs a little bit more. Yes, distressed, patina, right, all of that stuff. All of those wonderful words for old and vintage, but, but the chalk for sure. Um, all of the real popular chalk signs that are you find at like every business, um, you know, the handmade chalk signs, nothing, you know, when you draw in chalk, that's just how it is. Okay, so the cool thing about this transfer 
is that it lines up. Now I was going to do part of this white and now I'm thinking I should do not um, white. What color should I make the rest of my truck? Well, you guys think about that while I smooth it out. And then I'm going to watch your comments because I always need help. So you guys tell me. I have a, a light gray, which I think would look pretty cool. I have a dark, I have like a charcoal gray um, or white. I could still do white. I have like a like a, this is a custard, which is like an off-white color. Red, do you want me to do the truck red? A brighter red, so like a super bright. Do you think that the red would look okay with the brown, red and brown, like would that be okay? In the vintage, you know what I'm talking about? Because I did bring over my red red. Flat black or gray. Well, if I can't do black, well, I could, but it's not going to show up on my blackboard as much as I would want it to. Gray. Hi, Beth. I do think, yeah, I'm like, all right, let me put out the colors. And you guys choose based on your, okay. So here are the options. Custard, red, elephant gray, charcoal gray and I actually think it should be between these three though to do to do the red rest of this truck and this is wood right here I probably should do that in the brown so just the rest of this truck red red it, two reds actually red and custard well I could I could do a little bit, but I think I would do this wood part. I'll do the wood part brown and everything else. Yeah, so you can see these lines that are brown. There would These lines will be red, and then when I lift it up, the brown will be this blue part. That will still be brown, so it'll be brown here and then red lines. Red, red, red. Okay. I'm going to have to go with the red and then I will, I will, um, get that wood, this little wood grain up here done first, but it's going to be a brighter red, right? Like not this red. You don't want to match reds or do you? Oh, because that's kind of like a more vintage red color, bright red. What are you doing the tree farm in? So my initial thought was, that I would do the tree farm in red, but not if I'm doing the truck in red. That might be too much red. So I guess we'll have to vote. All right, I'm gonna do the bright red, like everybody said. And um, guess what? If I don't like it, I can wash it off and I can redo it another day. But I'm sure it'll look good. I usually have people help me like when we get to this point and um, I'm, I'm usually not disappointed. Usually not. Tree farm in white. Yeah, you know what? That's a great idea. I like it. All this teamwork makes me happy. Okay. Dream work makes dream work. Right? Is that right? Okay. So I'm just doing the entire thing red, 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 red. Ooh la la. It's very bright red. It's like, oh, the wheels are going to be red. Um, is it okay that my wheels are going to be red? 
like I just realized that. I could always change that, I guess, at a later date. <laughs> I'm gonna have red wheels. You guys, I didn't think of that. I thought of almost everything. Okay. Getting close to this part where I want to do brown. These squeegees are great for getting into small places. Try to get that off there. But I don't I don't think there's much saving it. Okay, you guys. Hey Jessica. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is I accidentally made that wheel red. Should I just go ahead and make all the wheels red? Or should I try to like wipe that off and fix it afterward? Kind of wanted to do that with this. Okay. Okay. I say okay a lot too. Remember we were talking about my words that I shouldn't say? Okay. <laughs> I did it again. You know what? I'm just doing it. They're all red. Thank you for putting me out of my misery. Misery. I was just like, what am I going to do? They're just going to be red wheels. My red wheeled vintage truck. Okay. 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 How many times can I say, okay, it's a drinking game, guys. Now there's like no going back. Every time I say the word okay, you need to take a drink. I don't know what else to tell you. It's my problem. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, I did it again. I hope you drink. Jessica, where's your wine? You know what? Some of this might be a little dry. If I could aim the spritzer, that would be good too. Oh, we got a little peek of my red wheels. Shots tonight. <laughs> hey, I don't care who you are. I think that looks cool with my red wheels. Oh my gosh. Who'd have thought my vintage truck with red wheels? Goodness gracious. It really is cool. The detail is really, really cool. And I'm, I'm happy with the color and it's going to look sweet as soon as I get this um, tree in there and the the word the other words that we're going to do in white everyone kind of agreed with that right the white tree the white words I'm just there's a lot of chalk paste on this one that's red so I'm just trying to kind of get it put it in its place you know okay it is. Can you hold up so we can see the details? Absolutely. So I just need to slightly, oh my gosh, I put my fingers in chalk paste every five seconds. Okay. Sweet. Can you just, can you kind of see? I have a little spot that I need to fix right there. It's like my truck has a horn. Pretty cool. Yes, ma'am. So if you have never seen me fix a truck horn like this, you just take a little wet, um, whatever this is called, Q-tip and water. And you can wash it away and that's perfect almost perfect that's my tagline like it's almost perfect every time 
water over the cab. Yes, right there. It's just, um, I'm going to dry it. Hi, Annette. I'm going to dry this so that I can do the, uh, you know, the words, and then I'm going to do the, these two left. And then I'll be all done and really cool. I'm just going to feel to make sure. Awesome. So I'm going to do my tree. I have not used my tree one yet. So I'm excited for that. We're going to do evergreen. I, I just had a thought of like trying to like mix colors, but I don't feel like I'm going to do that yet. Oh, I see where it's wet. Been there. Hi, everybody. Did you see my head? <laughs> I've got a little wetness. But, well, the tires do. They're a little... I ran it into the frame a little bit. So no biggie. No biggie, no biggie. Okay. Yeah, this was supposed to be white around here, and I, it's okay. I can go over it. Did you know you could do that with these? You can go over the transfer, like, obviously, because I did the red on top of the, um, that's all dry. Okay. Kind of make sure this is on there. We've got a lot of, okay. Now I know my, oh, dark brown and tan. Oh, you know what? I could have done that. I have the dark chocolate color since you had one that color. Yeah, I like can't think when I'm doing this. So I just like have everybody help me. Um, My good friend, my good buddy, Jessica did one of these with this tree. Now imagine she did it on um, canvas and she put, she added after she, um, after she did the tree, she added Christmas lights coming through, coming through the canvas and her tree lit up. It was like the battery powered I think the battery powered lights. It was so awesome. The more you play around with stuff, the more ideas you get and the more creative you can be. Or you just copy people. Like you see that idea and you think, Psh, what a great idea. I'm going to do it too. At least that's what I do. And then I kind of make it my own some way, somehow. I try to make it better, you know. Not that it could be better, just because it was awesome. Okay. Ooh, look at my tree. Cool. Very, very cool. So, you think my truck should have been dark brown and light brown? Yeah, Jessica does have fabulous ideas, Laurel. Oh, hi, Jessica. Were you here listening to me brag about you the whole time? <laughs> um, yeah, so what do I... I'm going to do white. We agreed. I'm going to do white. And... Oh, my gosh. And then I'm going to... I'm going to pan out and I'll let you see the whole entire thing. Because it's... It's looking really good from standing up here in my position. I love this new size. Jessica, do you have the size? It's the uh, 12 by 18. So it's like the bigger than the 9 by 12, but smaller than the 18 by 24. Dark brown fenders, tan cab. 
Oh my gosh. Well, I just got it. And this is Claire. She's a beauty. I'm telling you. Um, this is Claire. And I really, really, really love this. So I have Verity, Claire, and Aiden. And I have Aiden in black and white. And I'm loving this. This one for sure. Okay, now, tree farm. Okay, that looks like, how does that look to you guys? I feel like I'm not, I need my ink, hold on. Hold please, hold please. I just need to grab this because I am challenged tonight. And I would like to get this right. So we've kind of agreed that's kind of the middle. I just want to see yeah so I didn't think those were even so I must have like rotated or something I know looks a little crooked but centered so I'm just gonna try to like put it right there maybe a little down okay I am quiet when I'm trying to do this. So this isn't crooked. Does it look centered to you guys? Okay. Okay. I think it's good. I think I fixed it with my square. So now I'm going to take this away. It's my favorite little tool, my accessory. And we're doing white, the beautiful white. I'm gonna use another one of my squeegees. Oh, it's, I just love the new formula. It's so easy. Thank you for the, I saw the, what were they, likes or thumbs up or hearts. It was something. You can do that all you want. Also, share. Click that little share button down there. That's my favorite when you do that. Helps me. You guys wouldn't believe, just by being my friends and watching me craft, you are helping me so much. I mean, you don't have to be my friend and still watch me, and it still helps me. Or... You can still be my friend and not watch me craft, and that still helps me. Look, I'm so easy to please. This is the peel and reveal. This is it. Woohoo! My laser square is from We Are Memory Makers, and I actually bought it online. I got it from Amazon, which is where I get, like, everything. So now... I want to hold on. I want to clean that. Hold on for one more day. Okay. Love it. All right. Hold on. Thank you, Sharon. I'm just um, cleaning up a few things. And then I'll hold this. Oh, Diane, you can't share with your friend Leslie. That's so funny because she is already here. So I know what I want to do. I want to take, bear with me. It's going to be a little shaky ride. Okay, there we go. So I had to remove, there it is, the big tree farm frame. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Up close. 
and far. Thanks. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you, thank you. And the hearts. Awesome. And there's still time for me to clean up and get to bed at a decent time, right? Tomorrow's Friday. Woohoo! Can't wait. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you would like this transfer. <laughs> yeah, you can still share it. You can still share it. Hit the share button. Thank you, Jessica. All right, everybody. Have a great night. Thank you, Leslie.